and it's their intrinsic nature. Oh, it's like, food, basically. Rob. Sound. Everybody, thanks for watching. Now, Donald Trump is the president elect of the United States of America. That's something we're going to have to deal with. But, you know, it's so WWE like how everything just took place. Now, we, or most people who was looking at this whole thing, had it, you know, in our heads that Hillary Clinton would definitely be the next president. It seems like everything was set up for her to be the next president. But the whole time we thinking it's all rigged, it's all set up for Hillary, for Hillary, it was rigged and set up for Trump. And now when you start to look back at things, that becomes more clear. So now everybody said that Bernie would make a better candidate for the Democratic Party. More people wanted to support uh, Bernie. They wanted Bernie in the White House. They didn't really want Hillary. Hillary had too much bullshit with her. The whole Benghazi thing and just her track record and uh, everything that her and Clinton supported with the um, all of the shit that got a lot of black people locked up. Let's just put it that way. Because there's so many laws that they passed and they supported that is responsible for the incarcerations of many African Americans. So a lot of people wasn't banging with Hillary like that. Bernie was the nomination that everybody wanted. And the polls show that. And you see when Hillary won the nomination, how upset America was. It was almost the same thing like what we're seeing now. There was people protesting that Hillary won. More people wanted Bernie to win. And Bernie was basically guaranteed to be the president if he won the nomination. So it seems like the Democratic Party failed their party by making sure that Hillary got into you know uh, got the nomination so that was weird that was another thing that made people scratch their head like well you know it's a landslide with Bernie now we have two candidates that we don't even know you know we don't want none of these guys none of these people seem right for the position Hillary is too many questions Donald Trump is not qualified so now you have America faced with the choice of choosing you know one of two people who they do not want so when you look at the whole thing when you look at the election I mean, I watched the whole night of what was going on, and um, many people had suspected something like this could possibly happen, but it was too obvious, so people didn't think that they would actually do this. I mean, because when you go back and look at the whole thing, first of all, the simple fact that Trump ran and got so much support was, like, weird. The simple fact that he won the nomination was like, well, okay. It's weird. He's not going to win. There's no way Trump's going to be the president. There's no way he's going to win. So it didn't seem like it fit. But if he would win, you would go back and look at everything and say, well, this shit was rigged. There's no way he should have won the nomination. You mean to tell me we can't find a better Republican to run for president than Donald Trump, who only became a Republican in 2012? He's never held a political office. He has no record in politics as, you know, holding an office and doing anything political for the people. So people just looked at it as if it's a joke. It's Donald Trump. He's a funny guy. He wants attention. There's no way he's going to win. So now when you go back and you look at the election, when you look at the fact that you had the vice president elect coming out, basically giving Donald Trump the win before the votes was counted, you had Hillary's campaign basically telling everybody to go home, that the uh, votes wouldn't be tallied into the morning. We wouldn't find out who won until the morning. At that same time, you had Trump coming into his campaign to basically accept the victory. So this tells you that Hillary didn't even show up to her shit because she knew that she wasn't going to win. She's a part of this whole bullshit. People got to wake up and understand what's going on and what happened. They just did a whole, you know, bait and flip. So they baited you into thinking that Donald Trump was definitely the scapegoat, who was definitely here and put here intentionally to basically give Hillary the nomination or give Hillary the presidency when it was the other way around. All of the polls, everything that they seen when they talked to her campaign advisors, everything that they seen online, all of the numbers pointed to Hillary winning easily. All of her um, people who ran her campaign was coming out saying that it was in tears. They were saying there's no way she should have lost. Everything looked like she would have, she was going to win. And the numbers kind of sort of reflect that, which is like, you know, exactly why they made them that way. More people voted for Hillary. Trump won the Electoral College. 
the whole entire thing to me looked like a setup, especially when you start looking at stuff like The Simpsons, who basically predicted it. When you look at the uh, the map on The Simpsons that he won, uh, the states that he won, and look at the extra states that he won in real life, they're almost identical when you look at the shit. So the whole thing is weird. It's just that we could never fathom uh, Donald Trump actually winning. I mean, actually becoming the president. It just seems unreal that he's the president. He's the pre he's actually going to be running the country and it's, it just seems impossible and this is how everybody looked at it and they wanted us to look at it in this way so now with Trump being in a White House this they can continue their whole agenda of this whole divide and conquer shit all this racial tension is just escalating you see people just you know now that he's won I mean this is another reason why it's just hard to believe that he won I mean one you got so many people in the streets protesting against Donald Trump White people, you see more white people than black people out there protesting, burning shit, rioting like crazy because Donald Trump won. Black people, we used to being screwed out, so a lot of black people just chilling like, okay, well, we used to being screwed. Like, it's really not going to do anything for us I know, either way, Hillary or Trump, we screw either way. But it, it's pissing white people off. They're walking out of school, you know, it's a lot of shit going on. They're burning an American flag. All the shit they just gave Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee during the uh, national anthem, you have... White people burning the flag now. No real backlash. Got people burning the flag. Nobody saying shit. So this tells you right here, you know, double standards uh, type of shit. But when you start looking at the whole thing and the fact that, okay, when you seen Obama win the election, they showed on the news um, people from all over America, you know, in the streets celebrating Donald uh, Obama's victory. But if 60 damn near 60 million people just voted for Donald Trump you know where were those people when he won the election they showed his party his people at the rally but they didn't show people around the world in the streets in America celebrating that Donald Trump won like where are these millions of people that voted for him so when I made a video talking about voting does not work now you understand why if the majority of people voted for one candidate and that candidate didn't win I mean what does that tell you now everybody is going to be blaming each other you know for you know what what's going on what took place with the election blaming people who didn't vote blaming people who voted for Trump this is what they want it's when you start paying paying attention to the narrative this whole thing is designed so that black people look at America, you know, even worse than we already did. So black people start looking at America and saying, you know what? We knew it. America is racist. You know, all these white people are racist. They voted for Trump because they hate black people for real, for real. And, you know, everybody is racist. So now you have uh, black people looking at everything totally different. One, you have a lot of scared African-American people out there who pissed off now. One, they scared. Two, they pissed off. Because now if you have this racist uh, president in the White House is basically giving a pass to all racist people out there to go out and kill black people and nothing is going to happen. Now if we had a black president in the White House and you had all these people being murdered and killed by cops, this president did nothing. Obama didn't do shit to help black people. What makes you think something is going to happen under Donald Trump? Now everybody's saying, oh we're going to miss Obama, Obama did this. Obama did nothing for African Americans. We still have a 17% uh, unemployment rate. 54% of young people is unemployed between the ages of 18 and 22. So, I mean, it's ridiculous. He did nothing for African Americans when you pay attention to those numbers. We didn't get the, the, uh, the wage hike. We didn't even get support when we are out here, you know, being killed in the streets by cops. He passed three laws for the LBGT community. You know, gays and lesbians got three laws passed for them, but African Americans couldn't even get a law passed to protect them from police brutality. So the people who screaming that, you know, Obama this, Obama that, kill that noise, man. I know Obama is a likable dude. You want to like his family. He's black and this and that. This is the whole reason why you voted for him in the first place, because he's black. And now we let him slide because he's black and he didn't do shit for us. Now here you got Trump about to come to the White House, who's not going to do shit for you either. And you can't say nothing because you didn't protest and say shit when Trump, when, uh, excuse me, Obama was in the White House. He's almost out of here. There's no time left. All this shit that got done for everybody else except for us, you can't then run to Trump and say, hey, you ain't doing shit for black people, especially when you didn't vote for him. Now, what you have to think about as an African-American and the reason why I do not vote 
is if you look around at history and everything that has happened to us, all the oppression, the simple fact that they won't do anything to stop these cops from killing us, the simple fact that, you know, we have been kept down for decades, you know, ever since slavery. What makes you think, I mean, they fought so hard against us to give us the freedom, the right to vote. What makes you think that they would keep up this oppression, allow cops to kill us in the streets, but they would allow us to uh, have a vote that would actually count for something that's going to uh, help or be beneficial to African Americans. If they won't even acknowledge that black lives matter, if they won't acknowledge that, if they won't acknowledge the fact that there are racist police out there who are killing us when we clearly have, you know, tons of videos showing this, if they won't acknowledge the fact that, you know, we should get equal rights under the law, equal protection, fair treatment, the same benefits and privileges as, you know, white Americans, if they won't give us that, what makes you think your vote matters? They're going to actually allow you to vote for a candidate that will benefit you. It's not going to happen. First of all, one, they won't even allow a candidate that will help us out or talking about helping us out to even reach that post. Everybody who is selected, what you have to understand, everybody who is selected is selected by them. They are allowing these people to be in front of the cameras that they own, giving them the FaceTime. They own the corporations. They own the stations. This is what you are not understanding. All of you people who believe that the government works the way the media says it does, that you can actually vote for a president. He's going to come into the White House and just take over and automatically get the knowledge of running the entire country. Trump has no prior political offices held, no positions held, no political service, no government service. He doesn't understand this stuff. So you think a meeting with Obama and in, in that meeting, he's going to understand how to run the entire country and everything that goes along with that. You can say the same thing for Obama. It's bullshit. It's not run the way you think it is. It's not one, run the way the media tells you it is. It's people behind the scenes controlling this stuff. Donald Trump is a, is, is a major piece of that, and he's always been. You don't get to be a multi-billionaire if you are not. They won't let you into that club if you are not part of the elite. So you got to understand that this shit is rigged from the jump. Y'all running around mad as hell thinking that, oh, we got screwed out of this position of something that's supposed to happen when this is how it is. They set the agenda. They set who is going to be the uh, candidates and how it's going to be running, who's going to win. It's always been set this way. Y'all getting caught up in the fact that y'all think y'all got screwed out of it. Not just that. People are just mad because they think that uh, Trump is not fit to be the president. It doesn't matter. He's not the person you should be angry at. You need to understand who's running the whole show. Again, I keep trying to tell you, the Federal Reserve runs this company, and the people who own the Federal Reserve run this shit. They own the banks. They own the corporations. All these corporations you see that supporting these candidates, supporting this system, they are all owned by the bankers who own the Federal Reserve. It's just that simple. Woodrow Wilson, when he signed into the Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve Act in 1913, in the papers, what did it say? It said that basically a new day for businesses is ahead of us. That businesses will basically benefit from the Federal Reserve Act. Businesses are corporations are companies. That's what the whole thing was about. Making sure that the corporations thrive and feed off America. So now, all of the major corporations are owned by the same people who set this whole Federal Reserve Act up. They are running this country. You don't elect the fucking president when a, when a country is in debt. The country owes money to the Federal Reserve, so how can we just elect somebody to run the country when we don't own that shit? It's like you owing money to the bank, and they foreclosing on your house, but then you walk into the bank and start telling people what to do. You start telling the bank manager how to run the bank, but you owe your home to that bank. They have a foreclosure on your home, so how you gonna walk into the bank and tell the bank what to do when they own your shit? I mean, damn, they put the shit on the money. It says Federal Reserve note. It doesn't say United States note, like JFK wanted it to say, but when he put it on there, they killed him, blew his fucking head off. It doesn't say that. It says Federal Reserve note. Who owns the Federal Reserve? Well, they won't tell you who own it. We can speculate that the Rockefellers and the Wahlbergs and all them, you know, the, uh, all these prominent families, the uh, Rothschilds and everybody own and stuff. We can speculate that. We know it's them. But it's other people as well. It's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that people do not understand. So they don't realize that the Zionists basically got their candidate with Barack Obama. They got the candidate. The Zionists don't support Trump. So it's another group of people who Trump's with. And you got to understand, it's families. It's almost like the mob. 
So now one family had a time to do what they wanted to do. Now another family wants that time. They want that place. So Hillary coming in there, that means this Obama family, this Democrat family won't get that position. And the people who was running Obama, the Jews, the Zionists, whatever you want to call them. Now it's Trump time. The good thing about Trump is Trump is a businessman. So if he's going to have any kind of say so on what is being done, then it's going to be business wise. But we can't rely on Trump to do that because we know Trump is not going to be the one who's running the show. I mean, when you just look at the interview he did with Obama, he seemed lost. Like, oh, my God, what the fuck did I just take on? He, he seems like when well, he was explaining what happened, we sat down and we talked and he explained to me about this and that. How the fuck don't you know about this before you take the position? It's, of course, there's some things only the president, you know, would know or have information that only the president would be privy to. But, I mean, he is completely unqualified. So, do you people honestly believe that this is how America should be run or is ran? It will be, it will be really, 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 really um, stupid on the on Congress, on the Senate, on everybody if this is the way that we ran this country by letting somebody in here that um, doesn't have any experience. Come on, this stuff is not what you think it is, seriously. And it's a lot of people who have to be fooled and a lot of stuff that has to go into planning, you know, the uh, implementation or the implanting of a president of the United States of America. It's just that simple. But we could just look at facts. When has a president come in? And changed America and did something truly great for the people got all the homeless people out of the streets and never happened so that tells you they're not trying to do things that's going to affect the uh, the people of America I mean for the simple fact that when you look at the fact that 1.3 billion dollars a year as I said before can basically help get rid of the homeless in America and that that is not being done I mean that tells you right there that they are not for the people but for the corporation so what is going to happen? What does the future hold with Donald Trump as a president? Easy. I mean, they can now, with having Donald Trump in the White House, they can justify so much. So we can, either, we can definitely be going to war. I mean, this is why they're kissing the troops' ass. It's Veterans Day, by the way, you know, as a matter of fact. They're kissing the troops' ass more. They, they made a big deal about the whole Kaepernick thing. We, we for sure are going to a war. I know it's going to happen. With who? I do not know. Uh, Putin and uh, uh, Trump supposed to be cool. And a war with Russia will be World War Three. That's for damn sure. But I don't think it's going to be with them. It's going to be something, you know, dealing with the East where we are at right now. So um, a war is going to happen. We're going to go to war with somebody. It's just that simple. Maybe Iran, possibly um, Turkey or something like that. Who knows? But a war is going to happen. It's what every single new president does. Every president takes us to some kind of war because they have to run the whole military industrial complex and feed this whole war machine that this country is based off. So we're going to go to war. That's for damn sure. Now, Trump can either stop the racial tension or it can keep going. It can escalate. Um, who knows? We don't know. But I expect to see more of the same. People should not be shocked by this. But um, when I look at everything now, it's like, okay, well, they could have went either way. But for it to be Trump, it just causes a lot more controversy that they can feed off. And they can actually now, since the people are reacting the way that they are, they can use that against us. So just chill and fall the fuck back. He is the president-elect. He will be in the White House unless somebody kills him. But... For now, just chill the fuck out. There's no reason to get all upset and blame people and point the blame. The shit was going to happen regardless of if you voted or not. It is what it is. Just cool out. Black people, definitely, you chill the fuck out. Because ain't no president ever come and do anything for you. It's not like they took away our savior, you know, Hillary of the black race by Trump being in the White House. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Trump going to do whatever he going to do. Hillary would have done what she have done, would have done. But I guarantee you it wouldn't have benefited us. It never does. So we got to act accordingly and, um, you know, continue to unite and do shit. Better yourself. No president has ever stopped you from being successful. We have shitty presidents our whole entire lives, but a lot of us are successful. I'm successful today not because of a president, not because of Obama, not because of Bush, not because of Reagan or other Bush or any president that was president during my lifetime. I'm successful because of me. Be successful because of you. No president should determine your reality, your feature, or your, your fate. So that's up to you. You determine all that. Do what you do. Be successful in whatever you do. And don't let that shit bother you. It's going to be white people out here, happy as hell, racist as fuck. Let them enjoy the little victory that they think is a victory. As soon as shit start falling here in America, people are going to start waking up and saying, well, damn, you know, 
we was wrong. Now, if Trump go on and do some great, beautiful things for America, good. I'm glad they was fucking right. Who cares? But take a step back, look at everything, chill out, and understand that this whole shit is part of an agenda, as you should already know, and you shouldn't be shocked by. But now, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch me rant once again, and I'll see you guys next video.